What's up everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. Today is going to be a little bit different than usual. And you know what they say. Necessity is the mother of all invention. Well, today we're going to invent a new type of video here on VCG Construction. And it's coming right up! I want to know Have you ever So here in the Philadelphia marketplace, we've been having some torrential rains. Today, in fact, we, we had some creeks out in the King of Prussia area, Wayne area, overflow. They spilled over their banks because of the rains. And it's crazy. Like right now, the rain has stopped. It's getting sunny out. But because of the, the rain from upstream, the it, it can flash flood even though it looks like it's it's nice out it's already flash flooded once they're expecting more flash flooding and quite frankly we had sent texts out there some of the locations we do work for they wanted sand barriers sandbag barriers there's no sand to be found anywhere up there everything is sold out so i went online and did some research it seems that the home depot sells this quick dam which kind of caught my eye. I was like, whoa. So inside this small bag is six bags that would be equivalent to a two foot long by one foot wide sandbag. It would be the equivalent. Now how do they jam six sandbags in this little thing? It's because there's a technology in this bag, within this bag, inside the bags, there's a, a gel technology that absorbs the water and then makes the bag expand, create, it kind of solidifies the bag, the, the contents, the gel solidifies, it becomes a gel. So it's not solid, but it becomes a gel. The good part is that these bags are very expensive. That's not the good part. The good part about having these bags, even though they're expensive, is that they will dry out and they're reusable. So if you're in a floodplain or a flood zone, you can keep these up on the shelf and you know for when you're going to need them. We haven't tested them yet, but like I said, necessity is the mother of all invention or necessity means that we're going to have to test these out because there's no sandbags available where we were able to go to a remote store away from where the disaster was happening and pick up a whole bunch of these and we're gonna truck them up to the job site, right? If it was sandbags, we'd have tons and tons and tons of sandbags. We'd need some heavy duty flatbeds, dump trucks, but because of this technology, we're able to deploy the equivalent of those tons and tons of sandbags, but basically in a pickup truck. It says flood bags, absorb, contain, and divert water, ready to use, no assembly required, activates when wet, grows to full size in minutes, reusable lasts for months, great indoors or out, be prepared, quick dam, I don't know what that says, I don't know what that says either, activates when wet, I know what that says, you can see the picture here, before, Quick dam flood bags contain super absorbent powder that swells and gels when wet, this gelled water creates a barrier that contains or diverts water. They are safe, non-hazardous, non-toxic. How to use pre-soaked flood bags and water to activate. In five to 10 minutes, they will absorb the water and expand to three to five inches, or they can be activated by rain or flood water. Lay them in a position and, and place a heavy object on top of them. Be sure they do not blow or wash away. Lay in the path of the problem, Water, be sure to overlap or push edges closely together to prevent flooding water from seeping in between. Once activated, a small amount of gel may be visible near, near stitching and is normal. If high water is expected, pre-soak and stack bags. Bags should always be higher than water. Contents may freeze in cold temperatures. Quick dams may not be a solution for all situations. Uh, they pretty much just covered themselves with that. Disposal options. Dispose in the trash when no longer needed or cut open and expose contents directly to sunlight which will decompose within a few days. Or expose, expose bags to salt or salt water which will release the water and deflate the bags. Sounds nuts. I think we should give it a try. 
So there's six of those bags in here. Let's take a look at, at what it looks like. Wow. So it's it's the it seems to be the size of a normal sandbag. I wonder if it will absorb its weight in water. Like, does this thing become, I can feel it expanding already. Does this thing become as heavy as a sandbag? I'm thinking that it does actually. You can see it expanding. My question will be, will it absorb all of that water? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's getting big. This thing is pretty nuts. So what it says on the on the on the bag, not on this bag, on the main bag, is that you're either gonna pre-soak these or if you wanted to create a barrier that will expand with the floodwaters, you're gonna to need to put something to hold this in place. Quite frankly, when we deploy these up in King of Prussia right now, we're gonna to have to make sure that these bags are held in place so that they will expand in place, otherwise they could wash away. Look at that. There was nearly five gallons of water and, and it, it totally, look at it, it absorbed it all. Like a giant sponge. Should we put more water in there? Yeah. Wow. It's growing even faster now. See it? That's literally amazing. Literally amazing. And if you like stuff that's literally amazing, then smash the like button. You know, if you're in a situation where you need something like this for a water diversion to protect your home, your business, maybe this video helped. I hope that it did. And um, I wish you the best of luck because if you're watching this video, it's probably a situation where you're needing action, so, and you're needing to make a decision. These, it looks like you'll either need to hold them in place or pre-soak them. They'll absorb a lot of water, but it's a nice sturdy outside bag. I mean, this is literally, I mean, it went from, you know, this to that in the matter of minutes. So, it, this looks like it's a, it's a really great product. You know, I know it's probably not a new product, but you know, if making this video helps somebody out, then, then so be it. If uh, you like our channel, like our content, and like our style, we hope you get subscribed. And uh, most days we publish videos that are not so, like, you know, for dire situations, we do tool reviews, how-tos, DIY projects. We also publish tool deals, so get subscribed if you're into that stuff. And then make sure you smash the bell notification because we publish videos daily. We go live at least once a day. And we're always doing giveaways. 
I wish you the best of luck. And I appreciate every single one of you taking the time to watch this video. Have a good day, everybody, if you can. Thanks. We'll see you on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.